let's always start with the prompt. So we're being asked, how would the author of text two respond to what some researchers contend as described in text one? So let's follow the order of the thought process here. We have text one and we need to know what text two would say in response to that. So what's being said in text one? Little is known about how plate tectonics, where slabs of the Earth's crust move under, away, and against one another, began. So little is known about how plate tectonics began. Some researchers contend that the movements began around 3 billion years ago, often noting that computer models of Earth's mantle temperature at the time indicate that the mantle would have been sufficiently molten to enable that movement. So, there's the theory that tectonic movement began 3 billion years ago because of computer models of the temperature that indicate that the mantle would have been molten and would have enabled the plates to move. So, the plate movement could have happened because the Earth was warm enough at that time, according to computer models. So, now what would Text 2 say about that? Ultimately, any plausible claim about the inception of tectonic movement must rest on evidence. These researchers analyze the geochemistry of zircon crystals to gain insight into the chemical composition of the magma from which the crystals formed, and argue that tectonics may have been occurring as early as 4.2 billion years ago. So even though text 1 said, based on these computer models of temperature, that the movement must have started 3 billion years ago, text 2 starts by saying, if it's going to be a plausible claim, it needs to rest on empirical evidence. And then it names some evidence. These researchers analyzed the geochemistry of these crystals and they compellingly argue, so convincingly argue, that the tectonics may have occurred 4.2 billion years ago. So in other words, text one is wrong. It wasn't 3 billion years ago. With better evidence than text one, they're arguing it was 4.2 billion years ago. So let's see how the answers match up with this. A says... Text 2 would suggest that the temperature was likely insufficient. Well, text 2 didn't talk about the temperature. B, text 2 would distinguish between computer models of Earth's mantle temperature that reliably predict the onset and those that do not. Well, text 2 did not talk about computer models at all. It talked about the geochemistry of the zircon crystals. C, Text 2 would indicate that computer models of the mantle temperature are still being improved. Once again, text 2 did not talk about the mantle temperature. And D has to be the answer. Text 2 would assert that a more definitive form of evidence than the computer models suggests a different timeline. That's perfect. The other evidence is the geochemical analysis of the crystals, and it is giving us the different timeline, which is the 4.2 billion years ago. So the answer here is D.